What the fuck is going on, America? Jericho Green here with you again. And here is another installment of Storytime with Uncle Jericho. Now, I'm going to tell you the story of the time my dad came to my math class when I was a freshman in high school. Now, this math class, I'll never forget my teacher. He was also my football coach, Mr. Niazman. He was an Armenian dude from Southern California. And he was even on an episode of uh, Wheel of Fortune. And he was the hairiest dude I've ever seen in my life. Like, I wasn't sure if he was 100% human or like 50% fucking like it. Dude, his hair had hair, hair, hairy knuckles, hairy hands. The hair would be like coming up his back out of his shirt and shit. Then he had to shave twice a day. He shaved before he came to work and he shaved after school. And sometimes he'd, you know, forget some shaving cream behind his ear or some shit. We'd see it out on, when we were out on a, a football practice. So I was a bit of a disturbance in class. Nothing bad. I wasn't disrespectful or nothing like that. You know, just social, talking, clowning around and shit. I, even, I was even voted class clown my senior year. Imagine that. But I got a note sent home to my parents and it's basically telling my parents that this disruption needs to stop. So my dad told me, if you get another note, I'm coming up to that school to talk to your teacher. All right. So I don't know, a few days later, next week, whatever, I get another note sent home. My dad said, okay. One of his favorite sayings was, you don't believe fat means greasy. All right, I'm gonna be up there to talk to your teacher. Now my dad, he's retired. So he had plenty of free time. And if it was left up to my dad, he would only wear some hat he got for free, coveralls, and some steel toe boots. Both pant legs would be in or out, one pant leg in, one pant leg over the boot. He didn't give a fuck. My dad grew up poor, so clothing and labels and brands didn't mean shit to him. If we had, you know, we were going to church or we had a family photo to take at Sears. <laughs> Remember that shit? Sears had everything. What do you need? Tools, clothes, photos, they got you. Tires. So when we go to take a family photo or church, my mom would lay his clothes out. Because if not, that's what he would show up in. That was his fucking uniform. So that Monday, I get to school, and my dad is standing outside of my math class. Now, my high school was about, you know, we're talking Central California. So it was about 70% Mexican, 25% white, and everybody else was the last 5% black, Asian, had a couple seat kids and shit, and uh, so that was it, so everybody knew whose fucking dad that was, it's not like I could just blend into the background, he was Mexican or white, and they figured, whose dad was that, no, they fucking knew, so um, I talking to my dad, I was like, what's up dad, he's like, I'm here to talk to your teacher, so Mr. Niazman opens the door and lets my dad in, so I'm thinking, alright, cool, I'll knock this out, talk to my teacher, and be gone before everybody else shows up, uh, nope, more and more kids were gathering outside of the classroom to come in and in the hallway and my dad wasn't leaving so I'm like what the fuck and of course he's in his uniform coveralls hat had like you know spider webs on him from climbing under the house doing some shit and some steel toe boots so I'm like fuck when is he gonna leave nope my dad pulled up a chair in the back of the classroom and sat the fuck down with his arms folded and was sitting in the back of my class the whole time our classes back then were an hour and a half. We had block scheduling. School was from 9 a.m. to 3.10 p.m. Classes were an hour and a half. My dad sat in the back of that fucking class for an hour and a half. And you better believe, the whole time he was there, I was a model student. Oh, I, I have the answer, Mr. Niazman. Thank you, sir. No, I, I, I'll help, Mr. Niazman. Let me get those. Let me hand those papers out. No, 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 Mr. Niazman. Give me the pencils. I'll sharpen them. Model student, front row, paying attention, being a good kid. Was that it? Fuck no. My dad came to my class every single day that week and sat in the back of the class the whole time. He would leave about five minutes early so he didn't get caught up in the hallway with a bunch of fucking teenagers. But he was in there the whole fucking time. People, when you're 14 years old in high school... You don't even want people to know your parents exist. They're the most embarrassing fucking people ever created, and you don't want them known by anyone. Guess what? My dad didn't give a fuck. He sat in my class the whole time, five fucking days. 
I was embarrassed as shit. But you best believe Mr. Niazman never had any more problems out of me. Now, I remember him telling me, you know, it's so great that your dad, you know, is taking the time to do this, that your education is so important to him. I'm thinking to myself, man, fuck you, Mr. Niazman. Do you know how embarrassing this motherfucker is? But, you know, now that I'm an adult, especially now that I have, I have kids, I get it. And I'll never forget the kids kind of looking at me like, what the fuck? He's not normally like this. Because, you know, I was clowning around, fucking around. But uh, not after that, not in Mr. Niazman's class. I was student of the fucking week, every week. But, like I said, I get it now. I have kids, you know, and their education is very important. You don't want them fucking around in class. You don't want them being that kid, disrupting other kids from learning. So my kids, if you ever watch this, best believe I will do the same thing to you. And it wasn't, he wasn't trying to embarrass me. It wasn't like now where kid, where parents are like, oh, my kid's a bully, so I'm going to shave his head on Facebook and fucking post it. It wasn't like that. It wasn't coming from a place to embarrass me. It was just showing me that I need to behave in class and that my education is important. Education is one of the most important things. So, Dad, I appreciate that. Now, but at the time, that shit was fucked up. And I hated it. But now, let me get in this rat race, y'all. Start my work day. You know how it goes. I try to be done with the left, but they just won't let me. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Follow your boy on the Twitters at Green underscore Jericho. I'm Jericho Green, and I'm out.